All right, fellows, this is Bear with Texas Bushcraft. I'm going to show you how to do the soft shackle using Amsteel. This is what it looks like. I got a, a large one, I got a small one that I make, and then this is one of the small ones opened up all the way. You can see how it's done. Get a little bit closer here so you can see the, the knot and everything. There we go. So there's the knot. It runs through itself, and then on this end, I've got a little piece of uh, fishing line that helps me keep it from closing up on itself. There you go. All you gotta do is put it through here. And then tighten it down. And it works just like a carabiner. This thing will hold about probably about 800, 900 pounds. Let's get this video focused again. Alright. So I've got a about a three foot piece of Amsteel cut here. I fold it in half. And then what I'll do is I'll roll it just a little bit to get a shorter end and a longer end. And the shorter end is the one, or the longer end, I'm sorry, the longer end is the one I'm going to use as the outside of my berry. And what I'll do is I'll take this one I made prior and use it as a template for the link that I need to do. So start it up here at the top, measure down, and that's about where I'll start the berry at, right about here. There we go. Right, so open it up. Place the knitting needle in, start to weed, to squish it on there. Get it all the way on. Try not to grab any of the, the little threads that are in here. and then punch out right there where the bend was at, where the halfway mark was at. Scrunch that down. Hold it in place. And push my cable through so I can grab the end. There we go. And then over and then pull it through. All right, so once you get to this part, you're going to put your knitting needle or whatever it is you're using. And this number five knitting needle works really well for this because it's about the same thickness as the uh, the Amsteel is, so it keeps it keeps that opening up just enough that it's going to keep from completely closing up whenever you get done with this. So what I do is I pull it tight, hold it with my fingers, and then tighten it up on the the berry end here. And that's what we're going to do for that portion. Alright, now on the end down here, you've got the end that came out, and you've got the end that it went through. What you're going to do is, the end that went, that's coming out, you need to mark it with your finger, pull the back end down, open the threads up a little bit, and you can take the knitting needle out of the other end for a moment. push it through you want to make sure you get it even on both sides here open it up a little bit your wire through and pull the other standing in through that just 
like that. And you want to pull it tight. And you want to pull that in tight. And that all that does really is lock that in place. All right. So there's that right there. You got your loop down in the end here. You want to just make sure that does that doesn't pull itself in. And you can do that any number of ways. You can add another one of the other shackles if you have another shackle or a a loop, a carabine, or something like that you can put through there. And I'll just use one of these other shackles here. And that'll keep it from closing on itself. So you've got the, the lock in the end down here in the splice. And now we're going to do the knot. Let's get this refocused real quick. Make sure you guys can see this. and. I will add a link to the video that I learned how to do this from so you guys can see just in case because the line that he's using is a little bit bigger. Alright, so you're going to make a, a loop on one side and you'll see it's in the back. You're going to take this and you're going to put it, make a loop going through the center. Alright, just like that. And you're going to go around and underneath the standing in that's that the you use for the first loop and then back through this top loop here all right that's what it's going to look like so I'm going to do that one more time for you guys so you can see you're going to make a loop I'll get that back in my camera frame you're going to make a loop put a loop through there all right, and you're going to go underneath the standing in and back through the loop. And then you start tightening it down. Just a little bit. You don't want to do it a lot. All right, so you, right now I, what I've done is kind of made the knot horizontal. You see it's kind of horizontal like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the standing ends and underneath the knot you have this little V see a V right there you're gonna take the one the standing end on this side so right here and you're gonna bring it around one time the leg and then push it back up through the center so it's just in case you can't you can't see it's right here it's going through around the the leg the V and then back up through the center Hold it in place there. And then you're going to do the same thing with the other side. So it's going to come through around that first leg of the V, which is right here underneath it, and then up through the center. And all you're going to do is pull everything, pull everything tight. And it may take a few minutes for you to maneuver all the lines into place get them tightened down but we'll try and see if we can show the other to do this right now so we got goes in here and then right here all right and actually I think I missed tied my knot here so let's take this apart and try one more time Alright, so loop through, around underneath, through the top. Pull it tight. Alright, so we're going to do this. Go through here, around the leg, and up through the center. I'm going to go around the leg and up through the center. Start pulling everything tight. Alright, so here's the knot after it's been tightened up. And you just keep tightening it. What the, another way to do it, once you get it to a certain point, is to start pulling on both ends. You can actually stick the, uh, the knitting needle in this end 
hold on to the uh, the tail end and just pull as hard as you can and get it to tighten up a little bit. And it's all right if the knot comes up a little bit to where the bottom legs, that little V is is exposed. It's fine. That lock that you put in it down here is going to keep it from going anywhere. All right. So once the the knot has been tightened up as much as you can get it by hand. We're going to switch back down to the other end here. And what you'll do is you'll open it up. Take the other shackle off there or carabiner or whatever it is that you have that you're using to hold the loop in. All right. Now, this part what you're going to do is you're going to open it up as far as you can get it to open and you'll see all the stuff down there is crumpled up you're going to open it up as far as you can hold it there spread the fibers out a little bit put your as close as you can get to the the uh, line there Let's see if I can get this to focus a little bit more Come on, focus. There we go. As close as you can get to where the opening is. You want to put your line in there. Try to get it as even as possible. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put a small line, something thin that will fit in, the, in there and not affect the way it opens. And I usually use just some fishing line. You're not going to be able to really see that, but... There you go. Some fishing line. And I'll put that in there. Pull it and even it out some. Fishing line. And then close the uh, the berry up. So close this up all the way. And I'll leave a little bit of this this out, probably about two or three inches of it, and then tie off some knots. My son is trying to get on the train. I need this knot to tighten up and be nice. Alright, let's try this again. We're just going to do some overhand knots this time instead of trying to do the other knot. You just want it big enough that it's not going to pull back into the into the thing there. And you'll be able to see it or feel it if it's dark. So there you go, three overhand knots on that. And just pull it down. And then you can cut off the excess on this. And you can cut off everything but about an inch of the uh the tails on the excess and where the knots at. All right. Now the reason for that, keeping the tails on there, is because when you start loading this knot with weight, 
it's going to shrink and it's going to start pulling these um, these tails in a little bit so the longer you leave those tails on there the stronger this knot's going to end up being because it'll end up tightening up quite a bit and this leash here the part that we put on with the fishing line is actually going to be used to open up you need to see so you grab the outside edge here just pull on that and it'll open up the uh, the uh, the loop for you put past the end of the knot through and start on the knot end here and just pull keep pulling all the way around that loop will tighten up and you have your soft shackle and that'll hold in there pretty good focus it down a little bit there you go it'll hold it in and the more weight you put on that thing with the uh, with the knots and the tails on there, the, like I said, the stronger that knot's going to get and the harder it's going to get. Because right now it's not not all that hard, but if you try one of the other ones that I've made, you can hear the difference. There you go, guys. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and add them in the comments. Thanks for all your views. Thanks for your time. Uh, join... Yep, there he is. Join the forum. I'll have a link at the end of this video to the forum and the Facebook page. Uh, again, thanks for all the views and your time. Have a good one.